The Skoda Octavia's appeal has always been that it provides a massive amount of space for a relatively budget price. And no version of the Octavia fills that brief better than the estate. It also provides plenty more attributes besides. It uses the latest mechanicals from the Volkswagen Group, meaning it's better than ever to drive. And it's not short on quality or kit either. Compared with some rival cars, the Octavia styling could be accused of looking a little bit conservative, but it's certainly crisper than Octavia's Evolve. The grille design is pinched in the middle and the bottom edge of the headlamps kicks up towards the sides of the car. Granted, there isn't too much to get excited about down the sides of the car. It's all a little bit sober, but there are some interesting bits at the back, such as these little crimps in the tailgate that rise up underneath this overhang. All versions come with alloy wheels, but if you want body-coloured door handles and mirrors, you'll need to avoid entry-level S trim. Do that, and the Octavia Estate is a very smart-looking thing. If anything, the cabin is even smarter. If you think that Skoda is still the poor relation to other Volkswagen brands, then don't. The materials used give a real sense of class and quality, and although the interior design is as conservative as the bodywork, it still manages to convey a real sense of grown-up sophistication. The simple design also means that finding your way around the dashboard and using all the various functions is as intuitive as breathing in and out. For instance, most of your infotainment functions are controlled through this touchscreen system, which has clear graphics and logical menus. You'll also like the fact that the driving position has loads of adjustment and that the all-round visibility is impressively clear. However, by far the most impressive thing about the Octavia wagon is the sheer amount of space it gives you. If your passengers are struggling for head or leg room in here, then they probably live at the top of a beanstalk. Obviously, estate cars are all about the boot space, and again, the Octavia has it nailed. The boot is frankly massive at 610 litres, a figure that eclipses pretty much every rival. What's more, the back seats fold down to give an even more enormous 1,740 litres of cargo space. However, the backrests don't quite lie flat. The way the Octavia drives will make your life just as pleasant as the rest of the car. The focus is very much on comfort and ease and it really delivers on that score because the ride's really smooth and the refinement is really good all round. However, that doesn't mean that there's no fun to be had behind the wheel. The car changes direction in a really safe and secure feeling way and although it doesn't feel as agile as a Ford Focus, it's still crisp enough to put a smile on your face. The car's available with a wide range of engines and in truth, the one we've got here isn't the one we'd recommend. It's the 148 brake horsepower two litre diesel and although it's strong and smooth, we reckon it could be a wee bit quieter. It also costs a bit too much for the Octavia to really make sense. We'd point you towards the 1.6 litre diesel. If it's petrol power you're after, then the turbocharged 1.2 should be gutsy enough for most drivers. But if you're regularly traveling fully loaded, then you might appreciate the extra pep you get from the turbocharged 1.4. In a similar vein, we think it's better to stick with the standard manual gearbox than add this twin clutch DSG. There's nothing wrong with the way it works, but it just makes the car that little bit too expensive. On the trim front, we reckon that SE gives you all the kit you really need, but without taking the price too high. The Octavia Estate provides everything any family could ever need. It's got shed loads of space, impressive quality, and it's a really pleasant car to drive and to spend time in. 
It's also a safe place to put your family and it comes with plenty of standard kit. Even better, it's really affordable to buy and run. There's simply no arguing with that kind of all-round ability.